Hey guys, I'm back, and today I'm going to show you my Ostara altar. I said that again. I usually say Ostara, but you know, Ostara, Ostara, people say it both ways. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit different from my usual kind of altar, and there is a new item on there, but you'll see that in a second. I did do my prayer already. It is, what time is it? 9.26 at night. And I just went through my day kind of celebrating Ostara-ish. Uh, I did my prayer I at my altar. It's like, I don't know why, I just really like this altar. Anyways, I should stop rambling. Uh, here you go. So we are going to see how this works with my phone's light on. Hopefully it works well. Yeah. So, uh, there should... Uh-oh, okay. My flashlight just turned off because I have 15% left on my phone. But you know what? We will live. So, this is a little bit different, obviously, because of this item right here. I do not know what that is supposed to really look like. I don't know why I thought it was a lotus flower before, but I don't really think so. Um, obviously, light blue is a color of Ostara, so I put that on there. I was already planning on putting it on there before I was even thinking of doing an Ostara altar. <laughs> so, yeah. And then um, this thing that you've seen before, because it's green and there's little flowers on it. It's not real, but... <laughs> It still symbolizes um, plants, really. <laughs> I can't find the right word. And then I had a white and a black candle. I was, like, so devastated that I couldn't find anything to symbolize, like, I guess, peace, like, light and dark or something like that. Not, what am I trying to say? <laughs> yeah, like, light and dark. Um, and then I looked in, actually, this little box here with all of my candles and stuff in it, and an amethyst crystal in there. And uh, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do blue and green because blue and green are opposite colors. <laughs> and then I saw the black and I was like, oh, yes! <laughs> I forgot I had the black candle, but yeah, that was probably a very boring story. <laughs> and then I have a picture of three, or my cousin and her two daughters, so my three cousins, and then this little picture of my brother and I. This little happy Easter light blue pail that I've just been waiting all year to use. And then I uh, tore this off of a tree. I know. Uh, should have probably waited for something to fall off of it, but I just couldn't wait. <laughs> so, yeah. Then here's the normal little wooden... Uh, wooden incense holder with that tiny one inside of it. I'm not gonna, oh yeah, I guess I'll open it. Right there, just a little one. <laughs> so yeah. And then I have this speaker, which is connected to this speaker. Um, I know a lot of people like disagree with like electronics on your altar because it's not very natural, like from the natural world, but you know what? Techno Wicca, why not? <laughs> uh, I probably used that word wrong, but you know, <laughs> I'm still learning. Um, I wasn't really too sure if I should include this or not, but the little wolf statue here. And then, oh, I didn't even mention that the quartz crystal was inside of this, I'm just going to call it a lotus flower. I know it's not, but <laughs> still. And then here is my um, Himalayan salt lamp, which I love so much. Oh, I guess it's not plugged in. <sighs> I tried turning it on for you. <laughs> Here's my little dream journal slash journal journal. Um, there's actually $5 in there. I got that for Chinese New Year from one of my best friends. And then... My my old phone is on here because, uh, kind of like to symbolize the internet because I feel like the internet is magical. Like, 
Like, I wouldn't be able to broadcast, not broadcast, but, like, put this video online, and you wouldn't be watching this video if it wasn't for the internet. Like, I don't know. I just find something magical about that. Like, <laughs> uh, I feel like so many people disagree with me, but whatever. <laughs> my beliefs are my beliefs, but cut off there. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, we have, or I have, uh... I want to call them, call them Himalayan salt lamps, but they're not lamps. They're more like Himalayan salt candle holders. <laughs> Inside of this is just a little necklace chain that's always there. And then an amethyst crystal and a Dalmatian jasper crystal. And I think that's about it. I feel like there's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the water bottle. I just put a bottle of water there that I, um, I don't want to say I blessed it, but, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Purified it. Prayer. <laughs> I just decided to have water on the altar. And pretty soon, I will just be putting, uh, be but, <laughs> oh my goodness, be putting my altar back to normal. Well, not the normal as you see it. I have kind of a new setup for a normal altar that I'm trying to work with here, but yeah. That is what I have for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would be very, very nice. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then you should go subscribe to my channel. There's a little hair. It's like blocking the camera, <laughs> irritating me. And yeah, comment things if you want to know certain things, like if I believe in certain things or Spir spiritual questions. <laughs> uh, and it looks like somebody wants to join the party, Joey. You were just trying to get up on the camera. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.